lot of money on a research project she's been working on for years. News Central's Dom sat down with a senior from Wheeling Central Catholic High School to find out why he's making science headlines. What started as a science fair project back in the eighth grade has become a pretty big interest for Wheeling Central Catholic senior Vincent O'Leary, studying invasive animals, in particular, crayfish. When I saw the problem of invasive animals and how I could do so much to help in this little area, and the more I looked into it, invasive animals are causing about $120 billion of damage right now. And as you look into what people are doing to stop them, there's nothing that anyone has come up with. On Thursday, NBC Nightly News aired a report on invasive animals after a duck washed ashore the west coast from the Japan tsunami. And then on News 9 tonight, this report on hunting pythons who are invading the Sunshine State. Right now in Florida, they're doing a Burmese python hunt. They have about 800 just people. Like anyone that wants to show up can go and kill pythons. They're hoping to catch about 100 out of 150,000. O'Leary, who has worked nonstop on his project, credited a professor from West Liberty University and two high school teachers as mentors. In fact, he took his report to the International Science Fair in Reno, Nevada. He says his passion to find out why crayfish are so invasive towards one another never ends. And that hurts the fishing industry, a lot of tourism. Uh, the Great Lakes is one of the biggest threats right now. Now, a new exciting challenge. O'Leary is a top finalist, 300 to be exact. And just 40 of those will head to the Intel Science Talent Search in the nation's capital. This is the science fair to win. They refer to it as the Junior Nobel Prize. And just to be in the top 300 was amazing. Next week, he'll know if he'll make that top 40, which is an automatic ticket to D.C. If he gets there, he'll meet the president, members of Congress, and high-profile science people. But for him, studying crayfish and helping the environment is no longer just a hobby. It's a job for him. And because of his hard effort, Dexter University has even given him a full-ride scholarship to college. It was supposed to be an easy project when I started, and then we actually, I had found the exact opposite of what I was supposed to find, and that made it more exciting than it was supposed to be. Reporting in Wheeling, 